In this video, we are going to talk about basic commands in Lumion and how to move around, how to navigate your scene. And also we will get back a little bit on some performance settings and basically how we can understand, how we can manage, how we can set a little bit the interface here to start to work uh, in Lumion without any problems. So in this case, I'm using the best quality and you can see I have many effects on. So you can see the, the water here is moving. You can see the shadows. You can see many details on the ground. Also, the architecture here looks uh, really nice and the trees are not so bad. But the great new here is that uh, this is not the final quality. This is not the render quality. This is just the preview that you are doing with your graphic card and so don't worry about what you're seeing in the workspace, which is the view here and the scene, because this is not what you're going to get in the final render. You're going to get a way more uh, better results. So right now I will go back here into the settings just to show you a couple of things. So you can see here I have put super high quality on the editor quality and 100% editor resolution. So this is the best I can get if we are talking about the view when we are in the workspace, not the render. Okay, now I want to show you here, let's go to files. So you are probably here right now and you can create new, but you can also use examples. Examples are really good when you start because they will give you an entire scene that you can check out and you can study uh, how it's done, how it's uh, structured and so on. So, for example, let's use this one here in the middle, Villa Cabrera, and let's wait just a few seconds. Okay, so this is the house, and this is the best quality again. If I go here into the settings, you can check this is the best quality. Well, you can see there are also shortcut keys, F1, F2, F3, F4, to change the quality without getting here all the time. So, if I close this up, clicking here in the back arrow. Now if I press F1, the viewport is going to show me the worst quality. So I don't have shadows, I don't have many details, and also the lightning is not, is not so good. So this is how you can actually understand what's the difference between the various quality settings. Now you don't need to be in super high quality all the time. That's going to be like a waste of resources of your computer and uh, I suggest you, you work maybe in medium quality or also in low quality when you need to set up your scene and then only in the last part just before you're rendering if you want to check out what your uh, scene looks like uh, in a way that it's going to be really similar to the final rendering, then you can put this to super high quality. Okay, so I'm going to use this right now. And, well, I also want to show you how you can uh, check the editor resolution. So if I press this to 25% and I go back, now you can see I have all the effects like shadows and so on, but right now what's the problem probably is that everything looks like blurred out. Everything is blurry because I simply have less pixels. So this is what the other setting here means, the resolution. So I think that the most important here affecting the graphic card is this one here. And this one is kind of secondary. So in my opinion, I think that you should work with low quality and editor resolution 100%. And let me explain to you a little bit better about the proxies. Now, when you set this to auto, this means that if I am in the scene and I, I'm not actually seeing some objects because they are hidden by the architecture or other trees, those will be turned into proxies. So if I move a little bit up, you can see those bluish boxes there. Now they disappeared because I'm actually looking at them. So when I look at an object, it's going to show me the proxy first and then the tree. Okay, now let's talk about the navigation system. So basically, to move around just like I did, you can click with the right mouse button to orbit around and you 
to point your character into I direction and then you can press W. So W is to push forward your character or your person, first person view and if you press A you can move to the left, D you can move to the right, S you can move backward. So these are the classic movements that you have in video games. This is why Lumion for many reasons looks like a video game. It's pretty easy to use and you have the same navigation, the same logic. Okay, now these are the basic navigation tools, W, A, S, D. Then you have Q to, to move up and then you have E to move down. Okay, and then if you press the shift key and you hold the shift key and you move, that's gonna move faster. Now this is useful when you have large scenes to move a little bit faster. So hold shift and move around just like as you did before but holding the shift you will go faster. And if you hold the shift key and the space bar key of your keyboard and again you're gonna move, that's gonna be even faster than before. So you can really explore large areas, large terrains pretty fast using the shift key and the space bar all together. Now these are really the basic navigation shortcut keys and uh, commands that you can use and also you will find them in the right side of the screen right there. If you, as long as you're gonna keep the right mouse pushed down, you can see the um, shortcut keys on the right. Okay, now you can also move back and forward using the scroll wheel of your mouse and also you can kind of pan a little bit so move side to side if you press the scroll wheel and with left mouse you're gonna select things so th this is the um, mouse buttons that you can use. Now when you select an object you're gonna have some information here on the right, top right and if you want to exit this you just need to go right down here and say deselect all all right, otherwise that's gonna be the limiting your view. Okay, another interesting one, it's the this button right here on the top, that's gonna place your character or your point of view or your first person, you're gonna place it at one meter and 60. So this is like the average placement of the eyes in the height. Okay, and also let's give a look, a quick look to the interface, but then we're gonna talk about everything uh, later on with uh, more details. So here you have the layers, and this is also useful when you want to hide something and also, you know, create something a little bit more lighter. And so if a scene is too heavy, if you have layers, you can like manage what to see and what you don't see in order to be more effective in the performance. So it's always about quality versus performance. And this other little square on the top right, this is again about the performance and it's showing me the FPS, so frame per second. So in order to be really fluid, I should be at 25 frame per second. But right here, I'm not playing, I'm not playing a video game, I'm not watching a movie, so I can also go like 9 or 8 FPS as long as I can work. I think that the most important thing is that you need to work comfortably, so if this is going too low, the FPS, you can go back here into the settings, put some lower values and then go back and see if something changes. Okay, let's do like this, okay, now you can see it's recalculating the FPS, but look at that. Yeah, right now I'm about at 16, and probably if I turn off some layers here, I'm gonna see something near 25 frames per second. Okay, let's turn the trees off, for example. There you go, almost there. So you can see it's all about how many things are in the scene and how much complexity in the 3D models that you have in the scene and also about the quality versus performance. Okay, you can again continue with your 
like test here. Okay, in the bottom part of the interface, we have the toolbars that will help you to create to import objects from the from another 3D application, or you can also use the libraries that we have in Lumion. We have a lot of objects in Lumions. You can use materials, landscape, uh, and environmental props, and then you have the weather like lightning and many more things that we're gonna see later on and these are other tools that we're gonna explain later and in the right bottom part this is all the part concerning the final output so this is when you will be ready to render you can render uh, create renderings animations 360 panoramas or, or you can just well, this is to get back to build. So when you, whenever you want to come back here in the scene, you click there. Whenever you want to go out, you click on the files menu. The files menu is kind of the uh, menu where you can quit the project that you're doing. You can decide if you want to save it or not, or load another project, or that where you can actually quit the overall application by using the X at the top right. If you don't find that, or also here on in the left, you will need to go to the settings and turn off the, in the system panel, the full screen. When you are in full screen mode, you cannot see that uh, top part there that will help you to close the application. So turn off the full screen and then press on the X. So this will be all for this lesson. I hope you enjoyed, thanks for watching and see you in the next lesson.